Welcome back. In this session, we're going to calculate eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a score matrix using MATLAB. First, let's review the concept of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Assume that you have a score matrix of size n by n, for example, and you multiply this to a vector named v, and the result is v, but scaled with a factor, name it lambda. And the lambda is a scalar value, and v is the same vector. So we name lambda as eigenvalue. That means special value. And eigen is a German word. And v is called its related eigenvector. And for a n by n matrix, we have exactly n eigenvalues and n related eigenvectors for each of those eigenvalues. And we can calculate these using the eig function of MATLAB. And if we pass a to an eig function, we can get eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So let's test for a sample matrix. Let's define a matrix, for example, one, two, three. In the next row, you can hit the enter and enter the elements of next row or use the semicolon. Four, O, O, and five, O, six. And that's our matrix. And if we call eig on this, it gives us the three eigenvalues of this matrix. And what about the eigenvectors? We'll get soon there. If we calculate the determinant of this matrix, that's minus 48. And if we calculate the product of eigenvalues of A, that's minus 48 too. So that's proven here numerically that the product of eigenvalues of a given matrix is exactly equal to its determinants. And another property of matrices, if we calculate the sum of eigenvalues of a matrix, here that's 7, and you see that A, the sum of diagonal elements 1, 0, 6 is exactly the same, and it's not a coincidence. And you know that it's defined by trace, the sum of diagonal elements of a matrix, and always the sum of eigenvalues of a given matrix equals to its trace or sum of its diagonal elements. So the two properties of eigenvalues, the product equals to determinant and the sum of them equals to trace of the matrix. And we can calculate the eigenvectors of a matrix using this command and getting two outputs of eigenvalue. The first output will be the eigenvectors and the second output will be a diagonal matrix, you see. These are the eigenvalues of the matrix, but in this style of calling the eig function, we get a diagonal matrix. And if you're interested in extracting these eigenvalues, you can call diag on that, and that's the eigenvalues of the matrix. But let's rerun this. The columns of this matrix, V, are eigenvalues of this matrix, A. And the related eigenvalue is, for example, for the first one is this, for the second one is this, and for the final and third one is this value. So let's test for the equation of basic equation of eigenvalue and eigenvector and test that it holds or not. Let's multiply A by the first eigenvector. That's it. And let's multiply the first eigenvalue by first eigenvector and that's almost the same let's prove it by subtracting these two values and you see that's almost the same and this is due to some numerical errors and it's neglectable now it's zero and you can calculate it for the second eigenvalue and eigenvector as well 
and for the third one you see that it's almost zero and if you calculate it for this third one that's almost zero and if you want you can calculate all of them at once a times by v it's exactly same as calculating a times by each of those matrices and for calculating d times by v you must do this v times by d and if you see that d is a diagonal matrix and this calculations means that you are multiplying the first column of this matrix by this value the second column by this value and the third column by this value so it's the same and if a times v minus v times d if it is calculated it must be almost zero and that's true and this says that you have the equations of eigenvalues and eigenvectors true here and by this let's rewrite the equation and let's simplify it we see that a v equals to v d and if we calculate if we multiply both sides of these equations with v inverse from the right hand side we can get a equals to v d v inverse and that's a diagonal decomposition of matrix using its eigenstructure and you can do it here by this m of v you see that it's like this and if you calculate v times d times m of v that's it that's almost equal to a and if you subtract this from the original matrix you get a almost zero matrix and of course uh, multiplying inverse v by a by v it gives a diagonal matrix that contains eigenvalues of the matrix as its diagonal elements and it's a technique for diagonalization of a matrix so you can use eig function to calculate eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a given square matrix Thank you.